What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Tesla stock and guys as you know I have been saying that Tesla is bullish that was just a pullback that we got into that blue box and you can see that how well so sweetly so sweetly we started to go up but at the same time we saw some sell-off happen as well today, right? Like if I show you on the hourly interval, we were going so great up and then this red candle came. Guys, does this mean that we should be getting more careful here with Tesla stock? Does it mean that sellers are still present? And you can see how closely, like precisely to our level, it rejected over there at our significant level. Guys, does it mean that we need to be getting careful? Is this the time that the upside that bulls that we were expecting that, yes, this is where we want to break out of and this was just a pullback as I have been saying, but then we saw some sell-off as well happening, right? So in this video, we'll take a look at all of that. What is the price action telling us? What is the structure of Tesla stock telling us? Is this Shall we be comfortable being bullish here or shall we be getting careful and preparing ourselves that this bullish sentiment will have hard time holding itself up and we may head lower. We'll talk about all of that. There are no conclusions right now. We'll go over the structure, we'll go over the price action, we'll go over the data and we will base, base our confluence and the outlook based off of all these things we won't make up things in the air we'll go all in with the structure the price action the data on tesla stock and we'll make a decision with that so by the end of this video you would very well know the probability and the likelihood of going up or down and based on the price action and the structure as i said and with that guys please also hit the like and subscribe and also remember none of this is any financial advice it's only for education purposes it's nothing more than that i'll also take you over some of the articles and the news we have and then some details, some things on the options data as well as what I'm seeing. All right, so let's start off with some of the articles and the news. So this is interesting. Tesla Semi with Walmart branding spotted. What's next for EV giant? So let's see if they have a picture in this article. They don't, but you can see it on X or somewhere wherever they have it. So that's a great thing. Walmart is getting into Tesla semis. We know Pepsi already has it. Pepsi or Coca-Cola. Well, Pepsi, I think, yeah, has it already. Um, so that's great. So that's another area where Tesla is going or it's going to come up more and more up in the news as well. Then we have Tesla laying off more employees over the weekend. Well, sure. No worries. Tesla is increasing its uh, cash flow. When Meta does it, it's all great. So we have to, again, these are just the news, guys. Okay, the bottom line will, will get better. We have to eventually see how it affects the, like, the performance of the organization, the bottom line. I don't think they are negating any of the staff that is valued at a very critical and important uh, cash flow level, which the products or the functionalities of the teams that affect the cash flow. But again, you know, I don't run the company, okay? Elon does, so he's making these decisions. But so we'll, we'll stick with the technicals. I'm just stock, in the stock price. I'm just telling you what's happening in the news world here, okay? Tesla lays off more staff in software and service teams. So, all right, that's that, guys. Okay, now let's jump into technicals here. Okay, so we were talking about over the last couple of days, I have been saying, guys, this is just a pullback for the reasons that we are, we have got broken all the downward structures that we were in. We broke 160 and above. That was a change of the structure already to the upside. Then we got out of another resistance zone of $180 and we went up, meaning the structure is already two levels up, guys. This is in the third level already. And the structure is to the upside on Tesla. And I was saying this is just a pullback. And that pullback was confirmed as well with this, you know, structure holding. Every time price would like to go below 180, it will get bought back up just before 175. And that's why I was keeping 175 as the last line of defense for this particular structure that we are in the uptrend of this area, the second area of the upward structure, right? And then if we would have gotten below 175, then it was a waiting game to see if we form an inverted head and shoulder at 160. 
right? But, but we would have to then wait to see the price action for that. But great enough, guys, Tesla confirmed us that you can see we went higher today. We broke to the upside of 184. Let's go to the hourly interval now. And I, ha I was telling you guys that, guys, Tesla is not a stock that is going to stay more than three days in this range of 180 and 184. And more because we were on the upside structure and I was saying there's more likelihood that will go up. We got that. We broke out of 184, went to the next level of 187. Guys, but that's where this red candle came. It's a quite a strong sell-off when we compare to the market. The market didn't sell off this way as how Tesla did. So look at it. Five minutes interval. This thing went very low. It got bought back up, right? It got bought back up. And my bot was able to adapt to the situation like on, on NVIDIA, my bot just was so awesome today as well. And on Tesla, my bot was still able to adapt to the situation and still became just net profitable. But after all this sell-off as well, you managed to be net profitable. So that's still awesome. We are still net profitable here. You can see that data in the table there as well. But anyways, if you need access to my tools, links are in the description below. Now... So you can see that massive sell-off, right? Like this, these sell-offs are even happening like over here, this day as well, here as well. So what does it tell us? It tells us that sellers are present and that's why I'm saying, is this time to be careful? Look at these big hourly candles coming from last three days or these sell-offs, so four days, right? But what are we at the same time seeing? Tesla is holding the levels very greatly and every time it's just going up. So you can see this consolidation has also started to turn back to the upside and we are above this blue box as well. We closed above blue box, we closed above 184. We closed above this acting resistance from last three days, that's a win. Now to answer your question, guys, yes, we do have to be careful in trading, especially when we are seeing this sell-off, but the structure is still bullish on Tesla. It is still bullish we are now also in in higher highs higher lows level not just in consolidation anymore i will be worried if tesla tomorrow falls and close below 184 then i would be worried if tomorrow we close below 184 more worried if we close below 182 tomorrow yes then i would be like guys it's heading lower if tesla now tomorrow loses 182 and goes lower there is more likelihood that Tesla will come down to 175. And then we will see 175 finally holds because we have the 50 days moving average and that level as well of 175. But right now the price action and the structure is still telling me we are bullish and we are in the uptrend. What I wanna see is a continuation to the upside tomorrow, hopefully getting to $193 level, this level up on the top. It's important to get out of this level of 187 now and at least make our way to 193. That's where some resistance I do expect of the channel resistance. But Tesla is still bullish for me, guys, in the price action, okay? Uh, let's take you to the five minutes interval actually again. And what you can also do, guys, is you can follow either this 200 moving average on the five minutes for it or you can also follow this trend line. So Tesla is still, you know, has a chance to keep forming these pivots. If it's easier, let's go to the hourly interval. I think it's gonna be much easier to keep this trend line over there. We have more pivot points. Uh, it's just that more real estate I can capture as well on the screen. Again, guys, these lines will never be pro like perfect. It's just the, uh, you know, outlook it provides you as if you know, the direction, you can also just follow 20 hours moving hours. That's sufficient enough. But if you like using trend lines, this is your trend line for that. And this is what also I want to see it hold tomorrow. You know, I don't want it to go lower. I like to see the, the slope of the line. If the slope is very vertical, then there's a problem. But if slope is like decent and gentle, that's a good sign. That means a, and if you are going up, that means it's a constant, you know, uh, buying happening as well at the levels are holding, right? All right, guys, let's take a look at some of the options data now, what we have, what we see. So the dark green are and the dark red are the calls and the puts from over the weekend data for this week of expiration. And then bright green and bright red are the calls and the puts from today's opens interest data, okay? Black line, vertical line is the today's closing price. Gray line is the uh, last Friday's closing price. Okay, these options data is for this week's expiration. 
Now, what am I seeing? So first of all, 185 calls, a huge spike, a huge spike from 9,000 almost to 41,000 open interest. So, and price did go above 185 as well yesterday, but these options are still open. These options haven't been closed. So there's still a lot of open interest sitting at 185. I'm seeing a spike at 190 as well, but most importantly, if you see over the weekend, we had only the spike at 200. Today, we are seeing some increase there as well. So until $200, especially 200, there's still a lot more calls being played on Tesla. Puts, we do have some spike at 170, but other than that, I'm not seeing any spike and even the density of puts are lower on Tesla than the calls. So calls are being stronger options on Tesla. Uh, I mean, that's call, this data only tells you the where the traders are betting their money, the sentiment, okay? And the confluence that I do with the technicals and all that I have done over the weekend already, guys. Check that video out. Here we go. Like, just go to my channel and check this video out of Tesla that I did over the weekend. Tesla option, huge calls at this price. And I did the analysis with the price action as if what calls can make money or what puts can make money, which they were not looking like they're going to make any money. Puts going to be cooked, in my opinion. But I talked about how I do the analysis with the technicals confluence for every week, the options with the options data and the technical. So check this video out, guys, on my channel if you want to know more about that. But in this video, I'm just going to talk about what is where the sentiment is looking like. But the traders, where the traders are putting their money, it doesn't guarantee price is going to go there. That's why like price structure analysis technicals is is on the here is the chart and the technicals options data is just about where the sentiment is that's all okay these are two different things all right guys well that's it for this video if you found it helpful valuable please hit the like and subscribe and with that i'll see you in my next videos links to my tools are in the description below okay bye